Hey, what's going on everyone? It's uh, that time again, uh, trying to get back on uh, the 3900 project here. So, uh, it's been a while, I haven't touched this thing in probably about a year now. And I need to, to get this done, so... Better get back on it and uh, get some progress going here. So tonight I'm just going to work on cleaning stuff up on it. I got uh, the cam here that I'm going to put in. First I'm going to like remove some of the knock sensors and whatever it doesn't need to be on there anymore. I'll clean up the pistons that are kind of grimy there. So do that. Uh, get rid of some of this crap here. Give it a good degreasing, so I uh, guess we'll get at it. First thing I'm going to start by making sure there's no more oil. I'm going to take the pan off tonight too. Drain the coolant. I think there's still some coolant in it, so I'll get that out of there as well. And then uh, we'll see what it looks like uh, in the bottom end there. the oil filter adapter off here uh, what I'm planning on doing is probably drilling and tapping a hole right about here um, when I I'm not going to use that oil filter adapter so I was hoping I could use a just the regular spin on piece for the filter here which would screw into there this one's not uh, not tapped so there is no threads in the, the hole there for for the adapter piece to screw into for the oil filter like on the 3400s so we'll uh, come up with a different idea I would like to put the drain there but uh, I'm gonna have to run some sort of an adapter because I would like to put a turbo on this motor eventually but I don't I think I'm going to have room for the turbo drain where I want it on this side. I would like to go probably right about here. But uh, with the adapter, uh, what I can do is get rid of the oil cooler there. Since it's broken anyways, I'm not going to need it. So I think I'll maybe take that apart next. I'll have a look at how that's all set up. See if there's any way that I can get around uh, not having a filter on the edge of the block there. So. Now I just gotta pull this out. This plug here is for the, the coolant that's in around the cylinder walls. Just pull that out and that should drain all the coolant from there. Alright, so I got the engine flipped over here. Just gonna pull the mount off. And I'll pull the the side bolts for the main caps out of the oil pan. And then I'll work on the the perimeter bolts, the pan rail bolts.
Alright, we'll get a little better look at the bottom end of the 3900. You see the rods are uh, powder metal rods. If you look uh, right down here, you can see the bottom of the oil squirters. One on each set of cylinders. Everyone's down there, kind of hard to see. Doesn't look too bad. I believe these were uh, forged cranks in the, these motors as well. Looking at the machining marks on it, I would say that it is. Looks similar to the 3500 forged cranks. main caps where you oil pan cross bolts into just on the front three mains there so I guess we'll uh, start getting her cleaned up and uh, go from there so one thing we have to do with the, the 3500 to run on the older PCMs, as you can see they've changed the reluctor wheel on the crankshaft here. That's what the crank sensor reads. And if you can see here there's multiple teeth. And that won't work with the, the older PCMs. So to get around that, you get one of these here uh, crank triggers. This will bolt to the front of the crankshaft. Basically the front of the, right on the, the end of the crank pulley. Bolt that on. And it has the, the seven notches just like uh, you would find on a 3400 crankshaft. From what I understand the 3-4 Equinox the later ones are like the 3900 reluctor wheel. So if you pick up one of those motors, you'd have to use one of these as well to run in something like a Grand Am or an Alero or any of the older stuff. So it's a couple days later now. Uh, I got the, the pistons uh, cleaned up to where I'm happy with them. Much better than what I started with. Uh, they're just, everything's just sprayed down with uh, some white lithium grease just to keep the rust off. While it's sitting here, uh, I do keep a bag over it. So, so I got the bunch of parts cleaned up. Just gave this thing a quick degreasing and air dried it all off. Um, I need to swap the cam. I was going to do that uh, today, but I'm going to leave that till next time. Uh, got to swap the cam. Then I need to measure the cam lift to figure out. Uh, if I need to clearance the pistons at all for the valves, which is a good possibility. There's already a little bit of relief on these ones, but uh, I have a feeling I might need a little bit more with this cam. So so I bought this gasket kit off of eBay. Um, it's probably the cheapest one that I can get my hands on. Hopefully it's not the worst. Uh, everything seems to be here. It's got the metal style gaskets with the rubber for the intakes. Basically it's a whole engine kit, so we'll see how it works. If it doesn't hold up, and then we'll just replace what's needed with uh, some better gaskets. But uh, it's the only one I could find that was not going to be anywhere close to $400, so we'll, we'll try it for the price and see how it goes. I also have a uh, new timing chain tensioner to install and a 3400 timing chain kit so we'll get that installed once the cam's in and then uh, after that I should be able to put the cover on and uh, keep going with this thing 
One other thing I did uh, ask on the, the Facebook uh, 60 degree site there if uh, anybody else had this issue with their block with the with the non-existent threads for the oil filter adapter and apparently some blocks got them and some didn't. I've basically found out that the, the earlier ones uh, it seems have the threads. Not quite sure which ones got them and which ones didn't uh, without basically pulling them apart so just something to keep an eye out for. Uh, I am uh, going to try to tap this. I ordered a 13 16 by 16 tap so as soon as that gets here I'm gonna drill that out and tap it and hopefully everything's good. If not I'll have to use the adapter and uh, figure out something else. As long as uh, we don't crack the block in the process. So that's going to be it uh, for this one. Make sure you uh, subscribe if you want to keep up to date on this thing. Hopefully we get it uh, going in the next couple months here and uh, get it in the car and hopefully it works out alright. So uh, thanks for watching.